Hi, I'm Robin with Robin's Re3. I know <laughs> what we're going to be doing isn't exactly what um, I normally do, but um, I know some of you that follow me know that I was able to obtain a 1982 Yamaha golf cart. I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you some of the things that we're going to be doing to the to the golf cart. Um, it's a Yamaha. This was actually the plate that sits on the front of the golf cart. And if you'll see the letters here, I don't know if you can see it. It says Yamaha, but all the silver has worn off. Now what I did was I took it off, I sanded down the sides because there was a lot of paint overspray. It looks like somebody sprayed the cart at one time. So what I've decided to do, I know some of you know how awesome the foil is that I work with. And I thought, you know what, we've used that foil on so many things, usually on the opposite, with letters in. Um, and and put the foil on the outside. Well, we're going to try and do this with the with the letters raised up. I thought it can't hurt it, okay? Um, because I don't want to sit here and try and paint this. And I think the foil would give me a better look on it. So what I'm going to do is off camera. Well, I'm going to paint it. And what I mean by paint it when I can get the jar open. There we go. This is our um, foil adhesive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the foil adhesive and I'm going to paint it around the edge here. And I may even go on the side too. Now I'm just going to do the top. And then the top of the letters. Now our foil adhesive takes an hour to dry. So when it's dry, it should be really tacky. And that's what adheres the um, foil to the item. So then when I do the adhesive and after it's sat for an hour, I'll come back on and then we'll rub away. We'll put the foil on the uh, lettering. Then after it's all done, we do have a product that is low gloss and this is um, the final coat that you would need to put on here to kind of waterproof it, okay? I thought anything's got to look better than this. And I thought, you know me, I'm always up for a challenge, so I'm going to record as I'm doing it. Um, I'll also uh, do a short video later of all the pieces we've totally, well, hubby has totally taken all the pieces off the cart. I found someone local that's going to paint it for us. Um, and I'm going to be redoing the seats. So I'll show it to you in pieces. I've already shared a picture of the before. And when it's all done, I'll show you. Um, it's just a little project. The cart was given to us by a neighbor, and it's something I think my grandchildren are just going to get the biggest kick out of. The littlest one has already rode it, well, second littlest, and uh, he really enjoyed it. So hopefully um, it won't be too long, but I thought this is a simple project. If you have anything with raised letters, this is an awesome product to use, and I thought maybe even some of the other golf cart owners would want to try it. Okay, what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd give you a shot of me painting the top of the letters um, because those that will want to maybe try this on their own. Okay, you see I have like a really narrow brush and all I'm doing is coating the top of the letters with the foil adhesive. If anything goes down the side, I'm just rubbing my finger along to pull the excess off. But I'm trying not to load up my brush too much. And you could even go off the letter like that in sweeps and then pull up so you're not getting the edge of the letters, like over the edge. Because for those of you that haven't seen me foil or paint it ahead of time, I thought maybe I was a little short in 
turning off the camera because if you want to try this you're going to want to see it in action but I'm painting the letters first and then I'll come on the outside and do the outside this is just a little fun project something that you know I can do to the cart just to spruce it up a little we're not spending a whole lot but when you get something for free put a little bit elbow grease in it because see I just want the foil on the top of the letter not down the sides And I'm trying to get it as smooth as possible. That way we get good coverage. Now this one I think I have a little too much on. So we'll just pull some of that off. I'm going to bring it in a little. That way maybe it'll be easier for you to see what I'm doing. But I'm angling it with the light so I can make sure I have complete coverage. The light is showing me where I missed. So that's why I'm kind of doing this little bit here. But there might be something that you have in your home that has raised letters and you've always wanted to fix it or just kind of spruce it up. The foils are an awesome way to do that. And they attach to plastic, wood, glass, you name it. And I thought, ooh, this is something I can do with our, our thing without spending a whole lot because I've already got the adhesive. And I will put a link in the, con you know, in the description um, on how to get the adhesive. It does come in smaller containers than this. This one I think is a 16. Yes, a 16. But I'm sure everybody can think of other things that they could use them for. simple little projects I went ahead and took uh, just my, I don't know if I shared that, but I just took my sander to the side in the back part where there was white paint on the plastic. I washed, washed. <laughs> you can tell where I'm from when I say that. <laughs> Most people can. But I cleaned it up. Got the dirt off the back. Somebody was baha with it because there was mud all underneath the bottom of that. The two um, pieces we took off. The actual seat part where the driver and passenger sit flops, flips up, and um, with that you can um, reach the engine and everything underneath. So there are two parts to it we've taken off. Well, hubby has taken off. We've taken off the seats. We've taken off the overhang, the awning. And see, you only need a little bit of this. Looks 
like I've got pretty good coverage. Now I'm just going to go around the side uh, on the top so you can see where it had some paint and it actually came across to the front. So I just wanted to spruce it up, make it look snazzy. I'm just kind of going against, so I'm getting the top, but it's not dripping over, and I'm getting the side to the edge. I love stuff like this. To me, it's very relaxing. Maybe tedious, but so anywhere I'm putting this foil adhesive, when we rub the foil onto it, that's where the foil is going to stick. So I just thought this would be a neat little project to share with you. It's not wreath related, but you can apply it to just about anything. Okay, we're back. So we're going to see how this goes. So I'm going to, I put this on some styrofoam because there were screws sticking out on the back. So I didn't want to be fighting with those to try and keep it on a flat surface. So I thought what I would do is just mount it on some styrofoam and then start, start brushing. All right. So I let it dry for more than an hour. The adhesive, foil adhesive, is very tacky, which is what you want to get the results. That is to get this to adhere to the um, letters. And it's hard for you to see it at your angle, but it is lifting and adhering to it. So let's see. I really want to get good coverage before I pull it up. So that's why I'm going back over. Oh yeah, we got coverage. We got some pretty good coverage. This piece there that sometimes you just have to pull it off slowly and then check and see if you got the coverage that you want. Okay, yeah. has a slight bow to it so I knew I would have a little bit of trouble oh my gosh this is looking pretty good let's face it when I do a bef I did a before and when I do an after and post it you're really gonna see the difference and this is so inexpensive to do. Okay. And they do have plain silver. I just wanted to use my roses to give it a little different texture. Check that out. Can you see it now? Didn't that turn out great? All right. So now all we have left to do is to coat it with, and see, you can see how it came off. See the letters? It came off right there and stuck right to the sign. 
All right, so now we're going to get a paintbrush and we're going to brush over it. This is the final coat. It's a low gloss and we're just going to brush over the foil because what it does is it preserves it and weatherproofs it. Oh my gosh, this is going to look so awesome on my, go on my golf cart. <laughs> uh, wow. And this, this uh, dries really quick. Now there is a chip right there on the H, but I'm okay with that because now you can see it says Yamaha. It does not look like a black sign. There we go. Isn't that turn out cool? Alright, stay tuned because we're going to have more stuff that I'll show you with the golf cart. This is the final coat. And uh, like I said, it's from Artistic Painting Studio. I will leave it in the uh, comments or the description and what I started doing because I'm really getting into these foils I took a popsicle stick and coated it with the adhesive so I can now have a copy of what what I use this one for like I'm going to put the name on the back so when I go to match this to things I have six foils right now all different colors and textures so I'm going to put them on these individual sticks so I have a record of all the foils I have on hand and what their names are so all right thanks for joining me and have a great day bye bye